Kambili Chuku passed away and till today, Yule Duche, the father of Kambi, who said terrible things, we are not asking him to apologize to us. At the end of the day, Kambili Chuku is a son, plus or minus. We have less influence over the decision of Yule Duche on his son as regards the way and manner he wishes to express his emotion. Now, there is another young man who, I want to call him a young man, even though he's a young boy. He is seeing everything. He saw what happened and he's not happy at all. He's not happy at all. He's not in support of the atrocities of his father. And the worst ever, worst ever is to see your son in your lifetime challenging you, correcting you, telling you, Daddy, Daddy, this is wrong, this is bad, this is not supposed to be. I'm talking about Carl. I'm talking about Carl because um, Carl dropped what I call bombshell on his father and uh, Yule Duche broke down. And you know one thing about Yule Duche, today is breaking down, tomorrow is rising up, and next tomorrow is crawling. The thing is, he's not ready to change, he's not ready to make amends. Well, I'm going to give you guys the update, how it all happened. And you will understand where this is all going to. So, Yule Duche said that uh, May has turned the heart of their children against him. Just the same way he said that uh, Yule Duche, uh, I am the heart of the people. I am the love of the people. But all of a sudden, people do not want me anymore people do not like me anymore she she has made people to dislike me she has made people to hate me she has made this and that he said all of this so now he's repeating the same thing saying that may turn the hearts of their children against him that they do not respect him anymore they don't um, value him anymore they don't listen to him anymore they care less about him in fact, he said he has no access to them. He can't be around them. That polygamy that he wanted ended up into Mary manipulating their children. Well, you let Duche, you let Duche, you let Duche, you let Duche, you let Duche. Do you think these children are blind? You think these children are deaf? Just imagine when you were the age of Carl. Are you trying to say that at that age, you are not aware of yourself? Like, you are not conscious of yourself. Is that what you are trying to say? Well, ladies and gentlemen, before we proceed further, if you're just coming across this channel, please tap on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, like and share. That's the least you can do for this channel. Returning subscribers and those that have been here, I say a very big thank you to you. And a special prayer to those that have tapped on the thanks button, the one with the love icon and the dollar sign in the middle of it. May God Almighty replenish your pockets. If you also want to be a blessing to this channel, you want to encourage us to do more, you can also tap on the same button. Well, Yule Duche wanted uh, Carl to support him, like, you are my man. You are my man, you know, you are one of those special child, special children. You are one of those children. So I want you to kind of support me. Speak to your mom. You should be the one that should be speaking on my behalf. Whenever your mom begins to say all sort of, you are the one that is supposed to say, no, mom, it is not true. Mom, it is not possible. Mom, this should not be. You should be rooting for me. You should be for me. You should not turn against me. How come you turned against me? I'm still your father. 
you know how I did this, how I did that, how I that, that, that. You know, Yule Duche was reminding Carl of all those times that he was acting as a father, play around the house. But we all know that marriage, most of the times, is not always a bed of roses. Like, there are times that you have disagreement. Um, there are times that you speak in a certain way or act in a certain way. Your children, they see it. They see these things. So, as it is right now, I don't really know what Yule Duche wants to achieve with it. But Carl gave his father a response that uh, I'm sure that if he has a good head on his shoulder, he will process it. And So Carl said that, first of all, you're asking me to come over, spend weekend with you, hang around you, we go out together, come to meet your brothers, blah, blah, blah. You're telling me all of these things. It would have sounded good, acceptable, if the circumstances surrounding the demise of my brother is not questionable. It is a mystery. He's healthy. He's fine. Yes, I know anything can happen to anyone, but at least there will be some little concern. Oh, he has headache. He has this and that. He was active, playing football. He fell on the pitch, and that's the end of it. That was during the uh, period you said uh, you wanted another woman. Now, let us assume that it happened, it happened. It can happen to anyone. As you said, that anything can happen to anybody. That at times you might start your car, drive, and halfway the car stops without giving you any signs. Or maybe you are not conscious or aware of it. You told us all of these things. But the way you behaved afterwards, plus what your friend and your new wife's friend, Judy Austin, your new wife, what Sarah Martin said shocked my mom. My mom was suspicious of it. My mom said it, but I didn't want to believe it then. Not until Sarah Martin said, I've never met my mom, confirmed it. That whilst we were mourning Kamili Chuku, whilst we thought that this would turn your mind, like reshape your heart, turn it around, soften your heart. At that time, we thought you'd become our father again. But what we saw and what we heard is terrible. You, you all guys remember then that Sarah Martin said uh, Judy Austin was calling Yule Duchi, asking him to come over quickly, ASAP to Enugu, not because they are, uh, their new baby is sick or having some challenges. Judy said Akpekuz is scratching her, itching her, that uh, Yule Duchi should come and use his bola, his amu bingo to help him scratch each, you know, that kind of thing it is it's crazy. It's crazy. So these are the things that Carl, he, he, he got to hear all of these things. Automatically, such a father will be no father to you anymore. Such a man, you will not regard him as a father. And that's what Carl is saying that, hey, look, you know, for the sake of respect and uh, we don't want to get in between you and daddy, but uh, mommy, uh, but I still have to give you warning. I'm giving you this warning. This is how you let the chain broke into pieces. Like what? Carl gave him what I call warning, warning of your life like that. Please don't even try to disrespect yourself further by saying that I should come and spend weekend with you. Do you want something mysterious to happen to me? No, I don't want to lose my life. I am good as I am. I am comfortable as I am. I am okay with my mom. I don't want to uh, come and spend weekend with you. What will I eat? Do I know what is inside of the food? God forbid that I'm sleeping and something happens and that's the end of it. Are you going to explain? Or you're going to say the same thing that my mom and try to attack you spiritually and uh, the arrow now fell on me please i don't want anything to fall on me please i don't want to be part of this exempt me remove me i don't want to be part of it and i think uh yule duche is really maybe he doesn't understand at all i don't know maybe he's not getting it at all because now he's begging carl saying no it's not like that don't take it like that. 
don't 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 just think of it as such no don't think of it like that i have no hand in the demise of your brother but can you convince your son enough to wipe off what he knows it's not possible he knows it it's not as if he was told he saw it